Yo, what is up guys, Punkers here, and today I am bringing you another Advanced Warfare MLG Tips and Tricks video, and today what you'll be watching is episode number 3 and the final episode of Uplink Throw Slots. You guys probably have noticed that I haven't done one of these in a long time, and there are only 3 Uplink maps, that is Biolab, uh, Comeback, and Detroit, and I wasn't actually planning on doing Detroit, because I didn't think that there were enough good throw spots on this map, but regardless, I'm going to be doing it anyway, so if you guys enjoyed the video at any time, be sure to hit that thumbs up, it really helps me out, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first spot that I'll be showing you will be off of top Atlas. Now what you want to do is slide off of the Atlas square building and throw the ball in midair and it will bounce under the enemy portal and bounce up into the portal itself for that one pointer. Now this is commonly referred to as the Crim6 spot because Crim6 from Optic Gaming, you guys probably know him, is a Call of Duty pro player. He was, I think, the first one to actually post this spot on YouTube in the entire pro scene. And so he's kind of credited for finding this spot when really he was just the first one to post it. But either way, it's referred to as a Crim6 spot. You guys have probably seen it. The thing about this spot is it seems very, very easy. You just jump and you throw it. But this spot is very easy to miss. There are a lot of little rocks and ledges under the portal that make the ball, you know, bounce back or bounce to the side. And so you have to practice this in a private match lobby. But now the next spot I'll be showing you doesn't really have a name but this spot is really good for easy one pointers when you're in, in the enemy base so what you do is when you're in this yellow building here you slide out the doorway jump under the arch and you throw it just like that now it's very hard for the enemy team to kill you in time while you are flying under that arch there's not a lot of time of you in the air so it's an easy one pointer if maybe your teammates die you can run for that and the only way that you will not make it is if you get blocked or if you just like have a bad shot and you miss the ball in the portal altogether in that case that's just too bad but either way a very good spot to use on this side. Now we're going to flip over to the other side of the map. Now this is called the window spot. You guys have probably seen this spot in maybe uh, a land, like if you're watching a land on MLG.TV, something like that. You've probably seen pros use this spot. A very easy spot to hit. Now you do need to crouch when you're up against the window and make sure you don't throw um, the ball too high or else it'll hit the top of the window and it will bounce back to you. Now this spot, although it seems very easy to hit, it's very defendable. Uh, people can just go under the portal and pre-aim the window and if you walk into the window, you have to get a little bit of time to set up. Not obviously a lot of time in the big scheme of things, but you know, a millisecond or two to set up and that's a lot of time for them to be shooting you with a bow now this is an honorable mention right here most people think that if you run down this hallway all you can do is you know run and go for a dunk but what most people don't know is that it's also very good for one pointers you know if you're getting shot at you can just like let the ball go and it'll most likely go in. Now this other spot from green is also a good spot on the other side for an easy one pointer, another kind of honorable mention. And what you do is when you're running, running into green, you're gonna go out this doorway, slide, jump over the Hummer and throw it like so. Once again, like the spot on the other side of the map, you're not in the air for that long, so it's harder for people to kill you. Uh, like, you know, if your teammates die, a nice easy one pointer, although can be easily interceptable if they know where you're coming from. Now this last spot I'll be talking about will be on this back other Atlas building, and you're gonna throw it and it's gonna bounce in like so a very good spot because it's hard for them to kill you when you're back there really they can only see you when you jump up most people will expect you to run maybe into the building or maybe run on top of the building to go for the two-pointer but what they don't know is that you can throw it from back here and get the nice bounce like I said on my other ones though pretty interceptable you know you got to be cautious you know when you're doing that because enemy teams you know they're good at intercepting intercepting is becoming a very viable thing at uplink so always keep that in mind we're using the spots you know if you see someone that's ready for the interception maybe wait until you hit the ground because when people are going for interceptions uh, what maybe you don't think about is that when they're you know trying to jump up and grab the ball they can't really focus on killing you at the same time they may try and shoot you a little bit in midair but for most people it's either kill you or go for the interception because you obviously can't kill them because you're in midair with the ball so most people they just focus on the interception as a whole so if you are going for the shot and you see them under the portal going for the interception what you can do is not throw it and the second you hit the ground they're already in the air because they're trying to intercept it and they have to jump or else they'll miss it you hit the ground and as you hit the ground you throw it and so they're like you know landing at the same time it's hard for them to shoot you I just wanted to put that out there in case any of you guys wanted to try it. Another short video, I guess not another short video, but a short uplink spot guide. My other ones were a little bit long, but some criticisms that I got on those videos were that maybe I spent too much time on each spot individually and that I should have 
you know, kind of kept it going instead of, you know, spending too much time on one spot, which is why I decided to make this one a little bit shorter. But either way, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, leave me a nice comment, leave me a like. Always appreciate it when you do. Uh, down in the description, my live stream, twitch.tv slash punkers. God, I'm studying like crazy. Uh, I live stream almost nightly. Come check me out. I'd really appreciate it. Come chat with me live. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video.